Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido, and I am coming to you on day nine of the video series. I believe it's nine, it might be 10. I'll have to go back and look at my most recent video, but I am here to talk to you a little bit about some things that have been happening, and that's the whole point in me doing this. By the way, check out this beanbag I'm laying on. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I thought I'd do something fun. I mean, you know, I'm gonna start sitting in this beanbag chair. We bought this for our girls for Christmas. There's a pink one out there, but this is huge. It's like the cozy sack. Uh, you should have seen me trying to put this thing together. Apparently all the little foam pieces come vacuum packed in this really tight uh, plastic wrapping and then it's just shoved into a box. It literally took me 30 minutes just to get the box open because they put all this tape on it and then like all the, the foam is just jam packed inside of this plastic and I was trying to cut it open and I was stepping in the box and I was falling over on the ground and it was very difficult to get to this end result. So if you decide to buy a cozy sack, um, just know that it's and not easy to do. You gotta like leave it out for a couple hours for it to just expand really big. But I love it, it's really comfy. I'm excited about it. And yes, I have the Patriot shirt on. In fact, just about five minutes ago, I was in the bathroom because Bill and I were getting ready to go out with some friends. And I was griping, um, you know, because that's what I like to do. And I was wanting to put on my outfit to go out because my hair's done, my jeans, fancy jeans, fancy jeans are on. And uh, I had to go take off my nice shirt to put on a Patriot shirt. And I was griping. I was like, oh, I gotta do this video. I gotta do this video. I gotta put a Patriot shirt on, you know. So anyways, I'm here and he told me, you know what? You should do a video on making yourself do the things you don't want to do um, or, you know, sticking to your commitments or at least sticking to your bet you lost. So anyways, I'm here today to do a video for you and it's going to be a little bit of a rant. You know, I think that it's only fair that I talk to you about the things that we are experiencing in the business because you and I are going, you know, we're going 30 days with this, you know, it can't all be just perfect. And, you know, I want to talk, <coughs> excuse me, I want to talk about, you know, some things that have been happening in our own business throughout this series because it's real. I want you to uh, know that there are struggles, there are, you know, wonderful success stories throughout the way, there's failures along the way, and that's the only way that, um, you know, I, you, you just have to know. You got to know what's real. You know, I get really frustrated when people buy into the hype. Like, I will see, since I'm a Facebook marketer, I'll see things on Facebook, you know, about how XYZ made $10,000 in just four days, or people flashing their checks online, and I shouldn't be... <laughs> It's very ironic I said that because there's a big check behind me and it was not planned so I can't this is ironic but anyways um, you know where people are flashing their checks online or you know they're showing their PayPal account I mean I, to me it's tacky um, but I know a lot of you out there are probably gonna disagree with me on that but it's just it's tacky in a way to me because it's sending a message to those out there that are truly struggling and that are looking for an alternative to struggling in this economy, to maybe they're going through bankruptcy or foreclosure, and you're feeding the desperate people. And it's it's sending a message to those people that it can be, success can be attained very, very easily. And if people are telling you that, they're lying to you. I'm just gonna be flat out up front with you. Um, it's, it's not easy. Every successful story in this industry, I guarantee you they have a struggle they went through. I guarantee you they've got a phenomenal story of obstacles and struggles that they went through to have success. So that's why I don't like those hypey messages out there. And so, you know, when I talk about being real, that's one of my little pet peeves there that I can't stand happens. But also, you know, one of the things that I notice online that happens also, you know, along the way is you'll see people that'll join a network marketing company and, you know, they won't have, you know, they'll get really excited about it because they bought into the marketing message. You know, there's good marketers out there. They bought into the marketing message and they got in and then they just puttered out. I mean, they lasted for maybe two weeks. Maybe they never even got off to a good start. Uh, maybe they lasted a good month. Maybe they lasted six months, but they end up quitting. They end up throwing in the towel and they just give up. Now, what happens is, is a lot of people will decide to say, okay, why was I not successful? They will ask themselves that. And instead of looking down inside, they look outside and they start blaming the company. They start blaming the products. They start blaming their upline. They start blaming, you know, training, anything that, that they can blame on the outside instead of taking responsibility for themselves, meaning taking their own success or taking the fact that they failed is their own responsibility 
let me ask you this. I mean, if you were phenomenally successful in a network marketing company or on the internet in some kind of affiliate network marketing or an affiliate, affiliate niche, and you were really successful, would you blame the people around you for your success? I don't think that you would. You might give them credit, but you wouldn't blame those people around you for your success. No, you want to take that on yourself and say, oh, I was successful because of everything I did. Well, it's the same thing. If you're failing and you're not having success, you have to blame yourself and you've got to fix it from within. Now, a lot of you know what needs to be done. Okay, let's just take some factors in the play. Provided you are with somebody like a mentor who is coaching you, meaning I'm not saying like a mentor that you just follow. I'm saying you're able to talk to them every day on the phone, okay? Let me give you an example. When I um, was in a, <clears throat> in a health and wellness business and I you know, was doing the old school way of chasing around friends and family, jumped online, you know, started seeing the light, that there's a ton of money to be made online, you know, um, I realized I had to get a mentor. I had to work with somebody one-on-one -on -one and what I did was, is I found that person. And when I started working with him one-on-one, -on -one, I shut everything else around me down. Because one, what I learned is it's an insult to my mentor to sit there and go out there and not follow his advice, but go follow someone else's advice. Because see, he had me on a very direct path of what I needed to do. Meaning, you gotta call leads, Michelle. We've got to do this with your funnel. You've got to, you know, be talking to people. Here's how we're going to generate these leads. You've got to focus on me, Michelle, 100%, okay? Now, if you go over here and start mixing this training over here in our path, it's going to take you on a little bit of a detour, and it's going to cost you more time. And I'm not going to be able to get you to where you need to get. So it's almost like, you know, for him, it was an insult if I tried to be, or if I tried to go against with what I was told to do. Instead, I knew that I had to be, you know, pull the walls down, be completely open and transparent, and, and trust that this man, who's a seven and eight figure earner, trust that he knows what he's doing. He has the credentials. He had phenomenal success very quickly. He has a very low story in the beginning to a really high one, okay? That right there was enough proof that I was following and working with somebody who was going to take me in that direction also. But it required me to shut up and listen to him. He had me in tears many, many times because I fought him on things that maybe I didn't believe I should do. And I realized that that was only hurting me. You know, he cared enough about me and my success that, that he was hard on me because he knew I had it in me. And as a mentor myself and, and somebody who works with, you know, a group of people also, it's the same thing. We know how to get you from point A to point B because we've gone from point A to point B. So my, my point here is, is when you're working with someone and provided you do have somebody that you can work with in your network marketing company, Listen to them. Listen to what they're telling you. They want you to have success too because it benefits them also. But when they see you outgoing all different directions, how can they help you? You know, they can't, it's like they keep having to reel you back in, reel you back in. You know, they watch you go over here and watch you fail or watch you struggle or watch you get frustrated, watch you spend money you shouldn't spend. And then we got to reel you back in. Eventually that gets so tiring. So don't do that to your mentor. I didn't do it to mine because he, he just in, you know, put it in my brain what I'm sharing with you today. And that was a big, big part of our success is because I listened to him and I focused on him and I threw everything else out. So when I talk about you've got to be responsible, you've got to look at your own actions of what you're doing in your network marketing business as it is, or internet marketing. You've got to look at what you are doing, meaning are you really calling your leads? If you're not, what are you waiting for? Who are you relying on to do that for you? Are you taking action to talk to 20 to 30 people every single day? If you're not, what are you waiting for and why are you relying on someone else to make that happen for you? If you're trying to figure out what to say to the people that you're talking to or that you're meeting and you don't know what it is, okay, so you just kind of give up, why are you doing that? 
reach out to somebody who can help you, especially if it's your upline or your mentor, to show you how to speak to people. Okay, so I guess my, my whole point in this rant is, is to just really talk about the fact that you've got to be responsible. You've got to take responsibility for your own failures and your own successes. I mean, the bottom line is that you can't blame anybody else. You know deep down what needs to be done. If you don't, you need to talk to somebody about what really needs to be done, and you've got to take action to do that. It's really not that complicated. There's a lot of noise out there on the Internet. It can get really confusing out there, and if you just stick to the things that are simple, you will have success. And the very first step that you should be taking is talking to 20 to 30 people every single day about your business. So that's all I have today. I'm excited that I can get out of this Patriot shirt, go put on something nicer, and we're going to head out this evening. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.